the, my achievement is mostly the startup new organizations at the time to deploy or develop internet technologies. Uh, just like uh, APNIC, I'm a startup member. Now APNIC is regional uh, internet registry. And also APAN, that the covering 15 countries in the Asia Pacific region to achieve the goal of high performance computing and communications. So just the tiny part, uh, we had an engineering problem when we use a UUCP connection between Japan and the US before IP uh, realization was fulfilled. Uh, UUCP is a very old technology and apparently it's based on the US ASCII characters, that 7-bit. Whereas the very initial part of the negotiation, uh, it needs 8-bit uh, transparent communications. So then uh, our technique is okay to machine to machine. However, the, there is a very heavy noise uh, at the telephone line. So we use a packet switching. At the time, there is an international standard X25 and the reach Stanford University. And then within uh, Stanford University, we use uh, uh, Stanford University campus network at the time that were developed uh, IP network. So then the relay machine is sitting on the 7-bit operating system. It's a PDP-10, basically. And then we need a modification of the relay software, and we need help. Uh, that was realized by Mr. Mark Crispin at Stanford University. And he made a patch or a modification of the software just for us. That's a very good work. Without that, we could not realize a stable UUCP connection at the time. And politically or administrative part at my lab, uh, NTT, at the time, all the international call need approval from the upper area people. Uh, so do we ask to make a phone call. Every time we need the approval in a Japanese way, it's not signature, it's stamp. Name stamp is authorization. So there is a problem because the, the rule tells us we need the approval in advance of making call. However, the computer communications, it's difficult to predict the duration time of the international call. UUCP is sitting on the telephone line, so we need an international call. That's very expensive. We need approval in advance. So there is a very smart guy at the administrative office. Oh, it's very simple because the approval can be made afterwards to make the approval date just modified. It's not a legitimate process. However, the, I understand many people, including the office people, support our activities. So there are too many. I feel that the no single uh, project uh, which counted as my achievement was not fulfilled by uh, myself alone. And for IP connectivity, I already mentioned the name of uh, Ken Murakami. He is now the professor at Hosei University. At the time, he worked uh, with me at the NTT lab. And also, uh, he realized the real IP packet between uh, Japan NTT lab to US. At the time, BBN is a part of NIANET, New England uh, Area Network, including BBN and MIT. That's a part of the CSNet. So it's not a part of ARPANET, however, the CSNet, uh, they allow us to connect from Japan to the US. And then uh, another friend of mine, uh, Yasuki Saito, who is the, now the professor at the Kyoto University, 
he negotiated with NSF and the DOD, US federal government, to make the IP link official. It took half a year to negotiate with people of the US uh, federal government. But the, finally, we, he realized the real official link. That's very good. Already many people uh, mentioned the IoT, Internet of Things, and also AI, artificial intelligence. If we connect all these things, the huge data that cannot be processed by human being. So we need artificial intelligence naturally. And artificial intelligence is my background. I start uh, my career as a researcher in artificial intelligence. Now it's time to really uh, apply the AI technology to the huge data collected by IoT. That's a positive side. Uh, the other side is uh, cyber security. Now the, uh, it's quite serious. Uh, many uh, bad or serious incident happened. I'm working for the national level uh, security uh, committee and JP government. And then he, that's a negative side. So key issue here is uh, both sides. Uh, we need sharing of data uh, because the one positive side, artificial intelligence, many people simply believe, still believe that the, if we collect the data, we can do something. However, the, it's not so simple. According to the theory of inductive learning, we need negative data. So the expert human being just know the positive examples and negative examples. My experience is a uh, uh, big failure as a scientist in artificial intelligence. And because uh, my dream in AI was too ambitious. However, the, uh, I need an international link to realize a joint research with the people in the US. So I help people to deploy the IP technology. Afterwards, my dream in AI was not fulfilled, so I spent my time to computer network. So my lesson is uh, it's OK to give up one dream. Still, there is something for people, especially young people, to contribute to human society. At a very early stage uh, of the internet, uh, since I worked at telephone company, some friend of mine just the, asked me, uh, is it just the computer scientist playing with computers conversation? What does it mean? Uh, how about the now, the most telephone, uh, I mean the voice communications, is replaced by IP packet. So the mainstream and the substream or the uh, some uh, alternative would be changed. As I already mentioned, a IoT that connects everything. So eventually, the, all the tools like a microphone or the dust air conditioner or camera, camera is already connected. And then uh, we need uh, help from artificial intelligence because the data is quite huge. And now the, it's uh, partly realized already. So it's a positive side. The negative side, cyber security. If uh, we cannot share the data, negative data, wild people, malicious people can utilize the internet, that they are sharing the data. The, here is a list of the valid addresses. Here is the tools. Here is uh, some uh, monitoring something, or a kind of division of labor. So malicious people just uh, 
uh, aligned or the working all together. So the our side, if we are isolated, there is no hope. We are very weak individually. So we need the good mechanism to sharing data, even for positive side like uh, artificial intelligence, I IoT, and the negative side, just a countermeasure for the cyber. Internet is just the, quite interesting because it's connecting the computers or smartphones. It's just connecting devices physically. However, the, it's connecting people. So internet is a very good tool and it's now the very essential part of human society already. So I'm quite happy to see the current scene and I want to see the more uh, good things in the future.